Hello, beautiful, and welcome back to the Think Truth Podcast, where we are learning to align our mind with God's truth so we can grow spiritually and be more like Christ. I'm so glad you're here with me today because we're going to talk about something foundational for our faith growth journey, and that is daily Bible reading. Whether you've been reading your Bible for years or you're just getting started, today's episode is all about creating this habit and keeping the momentum going. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or whatever you like to drink and find a cozy spot and let's dive in. Let's start with the big question. Why should we make daily Bible reading a habit? Well, 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 tells us that all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for instruction, for conviction, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that the man or woman of God may be complete, fully equipped for every good work. Daily Bible reading is like nourishing our souls with God's truth. It equips us, it strengthens us, and it helps us align our hearts with God's will. Think of it as your daily spiritual food. Just like we wouldn't skip a meal, we shouldn't skip our time in the word. I love that verse because it says we would be fully equipped for every good work, not just slightly equipped, not for just some good works, but we would be fully equipped for every good work. So how do you start a daily Bible reading habit? Because let me tell you, I am a huge, the opposite of an advocate, let's just say, of a daily Bible reading plan. And the reason why is I feel like for a lot of people, maybe not for you, but for a lot of people, when you have a little box that you check off that you read two chapters out of First Timothy today, um, and then tomorrow you're going to read the next two chapters or whatever your b- yearly Bible reading plan is, I feel like it can so easily become just a task that you're doing and you're not taking it to heart. So let's talk about this a little bit. If you're new to daily Bible reading, or maybe you've fallen out of the habit, don't worry, it's never too late to start. Here are some tips to help you get going. Start small, okay? You don't have to have a yearly Bible reading plan. You don't have to read a whole chapter every day. Start with a few verses and gradually increase as you feel comfortable or if you have time. The book of Psalms or Proverbs is a great place to begin because the chapters are short and packed with wisdom and praise. You could start by reading one psalm a day or even a few verses from Proverbs. Set a time and place. Having a designated time and place helps make Bible reading a regular part of your day. Maybe it's first thing in the morning with your coffee or perhaps you unwind with the word before bed. Choose a time that works best for you and stick to it as much as possible your favorite chair, a quiet corner, or even a spot outside can become your sacred space for meeting with God. Use a Bible reading plan. Sometimes the hardest part is knowing where to start. A Bible reading plan can give you structure and direction. You can find lots of plans online. Some cover the whole Bible in a year, while others focus on specific topics or books. Find one that resonates with you. There are plans that can guide you through the Gospels, give you an overview of the entire Bible, or help you dig deep into specific themes. And remember I had just mentioned about the yearly Bible reading plan and that I'm not in complete agreement with that because it can become something that we just do and we're not taking it to heart. The Holy Spirit's going to lead you while you're reading and sometimes that means he's going to lead you somewhere else. And you need to be willing to follow that and not be so rigid with your reading plan, okay? The next thing is to keep it simple. Remember, the goal is to connect with God, not to check off a box. If a verse stands out to you, take time to meditate on it and pray. Ask God to speak to your heart through his word. It's okay to take your time and really let scripture sink in. It's okay to get off track. It's okay to go to a different place in the Bible if you feel so led. Okay, it's so important. 
Now, once we get the habit going, how do we keep the momentum? That's the big question, right? Here are some tips to maintain your Bible reading habit. Accountability. Find a friend or join a group that's also committed to daily Bible reading. Have someone to share insights with or encourage you when you're feeling unmotivated. This can make a huge difference. Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10 reminds us too are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. For if either of them falls, the one will lift up his companion. Being part of a Bible reading group or having a Bible buddy can provide the encouragement we all need. Number two of keeping the momentum is mix it up. If you find yourself in a rut, try changing things up. Listen to the audio Bible, try a different translation, or use a study Bible with helpful notes. Variety can keep your reading fresh and exciting. You might also consider reading from a different location or incorporating different devotional books that complement your reading plan. The next way to keep your momentum is to pray before you read. Ask God to open your heart and mind to his word. James 1.5 reminds us that if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to him. Prayer prepares us to receive what God wants to teach us. Start with a simple prayer asking for understanding and insight. I love the book of James. It says if you lack wisdom, ask. And God's going to give generously. He's going to give generously to all. I love that verse. The fourth and last way that I suggest that you keep your daily Bible reading momentum is to celebrate the progress, not perfection. It's okay if you miss a day. Life happens. Don't let that discourage you. The enemy loves to use guilt to keep us away from God's word, but remember, his mercies are new every morning. Just pick up where you left off. The important thing is consistency over time, not perfection every day. You can track your progress in a journal and note down any key verses or thoughts that stand out to you. So I hope these tips have inspired you to start or deepen your daily Bible reading habit. Remember, God's word is living and active, ready to speak into every area of your life. Every time you open your Bible, you are meeting with the creator of the universe who loves you beyond measure. So let's make time for this precious encounter every day. If you're eager to grow deeper in your spiritual life and connect with others who are on the same journey, I invite you to join the Garden of Grace community over on Patreon. There you'll find our growth workbook, monthly devotional kits, and access to a community of women committed to nurturing and growing our faith. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Think Truth Podcast. If this message touched your heart, please share it with a friend. Let's encourage each other to stay rooted in God's word and continue growing together. Until next time, please know that you are cherished and deeply loved. See you soon.